St. Dorothy was a young, beautiful girl who lived in the city of Caesarea in Asia Minor. Theopolis, a rich and handsome young pagan, fell in love with Dorothy and wished to marry her, but she refused. Theopolis, I cannot marry you because you are a pagan. If you will first learn about Jesus Christ and become a Christian, then I will marry you if it is God's will. This angered Theopolis very much. So he went to the governor of Caesarea and told him that she was a Christian. Before long, the governor's guards were at Dorothy's house and they seized her and threw her into a dirty old dungeon. They said to her, stay here and suffer for a while. Tomorrow, you will marry. The next day, they dragged her before the governor and he said, who are you? And she said, I am Dorothy a servant of Jesus Christ. The governor was much surprised by Dorothy's answer. And instead of killing her, he had her taken back to the dungeon. So she would give up the Catholic faith, he sent her two women named Callista and Christina who were sisters. They had been threatened with terrible torment. That is why they gave up their faith. They were promised a large reward if they could convince Dorothy to deny her faith. Dorothy was kind and patient to them and asked the guardian angels of the two women to help them come back to the faith. Before too long, the two were weeping and begging for God to forgive them. The two sisters left the dungeon and cried, we are Christians. We belong to Jesus Christ. The governor was furious and they were both killed immediately. Dorothy was dragged out of the dungeon and thrown before the governor. Now Theopolis had been standing in the courtroom while the governor had been questioning Dorothy. And when Theopolis saw Dorothy being led to the torture chamber, he sneered, Ha ha, fair maiden, so now you're going to meet Jesus, your bridegroom. Send me some apples and some roses from his garden. Dorothy replied, I will send you the apples and roses, and I will wait for you in the garden for which they come. Dorothy was beheaded. Then after her death, an angel appeared with a basket before Theopolis, in which there were three apples and three roses. Theopolis ate the apples and was converted, beheaded, and became a martyr. I went to meet St. Dorothy in the Heavenly Garden.